Good morning, students. Welcome to day one of homeschool, art edition. So normally, uh, especially for my drawing one classes, we would do drawing practice today. And I thought that since everyone is sort of out of sorts, we would keep it really simple. And all of my classes are gonna do the same thing, which is drawing practice, because you cannot practice that enough. But instead of just showing you something and having you copy it, I thought we would make it a little bit more interesting and we would take a virtual field trip. So if you're looking at the screen, you probably recognize what we see as Alvin. And there's our school, Alvin High School. And we're going to go from Alvin High School to the Acropolis in Athens, Greece. So here we go, we're leaving, we're flying over the Atlantic, over the Aegean Sea, dropping down into Athens, right onto the rock of the Acropolis. There we are. Give you a few seconds just to look at it. So one of the things you might notice is that the Acropolis is more than just one thing. It's not just this one temple that we know we associate with the Acropolis. This is actually called the Parthenon. The Acropolis is actually this whole structure, the rock itself, because it literally translates to above the city. So the Acropolis is the city above the city. We're going to use part of the Acropolis in our drawing practice today. So let's drop down into the site, and we want to go, let me see if I can land in the right place. I think where we want to be is about here. Okay, bingo, perfect. So what we're looking at right now, along with these throngs of tourists, this is the temple called the Erechtheon. And that goes back to a king, the first king of Greece, which his name was Erechthus. And he uh, was half snake, half snake, half man. And he was the king of Athens. I don't know, guys. I mean, that's what the story says. So this is the temple dedicated to him. And these ladies who are standing, holding the porch up with their heads, are called karyatides. This is how you spell that, karyatide. And you say it like carry, like you're carrying the porch. A teed, even though it says T-I-D, it's T-I-T, it's more like T-E-E-D. And you can see on this, on this uh, Wikipedia page that these are the same karyatides that we're looking at now, but they use this a lot in architecture. So especially through the 1900s, 1800s, they, if you go to another city, you'll often find women, sometimes men too, but mostly women holding up the porch with their heads. And that comes from Greek architecture. Okay, so let's get back to our project. We're going to be drawing the karyatides. Um, but I don't want you to just draw their faces, which are beautiful. What I want you to focus on is their hair. <laughs> What's really cool about these particular karyatides is that they all have very specific hairstyles. So they're all different. They all have their own kind of elaborate Grecian hairstyle. And the little known fact is that hair in Greece took a really long time. And usually the, the aristocratic ladies would sit and get their hair braided for hours upon hours upon hours before they would leave their chambers and you know go about their business in the house. And very rarely would they actually leave the house. So this was all just for themselves. So you're gonna be doing a drawing of one. You don't have to do all of them. You can if you want to, but I want you to pick one of them and try your best I want you to pretend that you are in Athens and you're getting to sit on the porch of the Erechtheon and you can really study like all the little details, all the shadows, all of the texture. 
try and get it to look pretty accurate. If you're feeling brave, you can also try and get the aspects of the column and the details of the robe, the light and dark. But if you're not feeling brave, I would just want you to focus on the hairstyle itself, okay? So you, I would set a timer on your phone for 10 minutes, not longer, unless you really get into it and you want to spend longer, and you're going to do your best. Break it down into little pieces like we've done in class, which means don't try and look at this all as one big shape. Look at them as little individual. First look at, first look at the outside, which is these shapes. Draw that outside line. And then you're going to work your way in a little bit. So for instance, break it into this shape, which is basically a, a rectangle that's rounded at the edges. This shape, which is kind of a rounded triangle. And this shape was essentially a, um, that looks to me like a, like a Nilla wafer that's been cut off at the very end, right? Break it into littler pieces, and then you can start to try and get the details. And when you're finished, you're going to upload your photograph of your drawing to this assignment and mark it as complete. Um, if you do not have access to a camera phone, or if you're having some problems, technologically speaking, please just send me a private message and tell me what's going on. Don't worry about it. Don't get stressed, okay? All right, that's it for now. We're going to continue working with the Acropolis for a little while because uh, there's way too much to cover in just one little lesson. But for now, we're just going to draw the Karyatids braids and forget about the world. I love you guys. Hope you're having a good day and I'll talk to you soon.